quickly how the switching the conversion of numbers from a given base to base 10. In my earlier video, I have treated the conversion of numbers from base 10 to a required base. You can check that on my Facebook page or my YouTube page. Now, writing numbers in number bases is just another form of writing numbers, just like we have, uh, we have uh, Roman numerals. You know, we have something like I to represent one, V, you have X, you have um, C, you have L, you have M, you have D. So now, the normal number uh, base system that we use is a decimal, is a decimal system. That's living number, sorry, the decimal system. That's living numbers in base 10. Any number you see. If it's 20, it's almost like saying we are 20 base 10. But since we know it's base 10, we don't have to be writing it for all numbers. But if a number is expressed in another base, let's say in base 2, in base 3, on and on and on, base 16, it goes on and on, you, it has to be stated. For instance, if, if a number is in base 2 now, we can have something like a 1, 1, base 2, and all. So... You have to be conversant with converting these numbers from one base to another. So quickly, I'll be looking at uh, conversion of numbers from a given base to base 10. And there are two methods of doing this. The first method, that's what I'll be treating in this video. I'll do another video to teach the other method. Method one is what we call the power expansion method. Power so, and the first example I'll treat is, uh, so I have a number 1011 in base 2. Don't forget I said I, write, I like to write my bases in words so that I don't treat it as a number and get some things modded up. I want to convert it to a number in base 10. So, 1011 base 2 to base 10. What uh, the power expansion method? I write out one zero one one. Now, starting from your left or your right, sorry, you have zero, one, two, three. Now, let's be careful with this because a lot of people model this. Power expansion means you take each of these figure. And expand it with this required base, uh, with the given base, and the power on top of the number. Now I'm going to start from one. I have one multiplied by two to the power of three. The next number, zero, multiplied by two to the power of two. Next number, one multiplied by two to the power of 1. Next number, 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 0. I'm writing it like this, or line by line, because I want us to get it clearly. Now, let's solve for each of these. 2 to the power of 3 is 1. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. This is 0 multiplied 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 1 is 2, and 2 to the power of 0 is 1. Anything raised to the power 0 in mathematics is 1. So now I have 8. I have 0 multiplied by 4 is 0. This is 2, and this is 1. What do I do? I had all of them together. So I have 8 plus uh, 0, that's 8, plus 2, that's 10, 11 in base 10. Now, this is the way we we'll write it normally. Uh, you can also write it like this. It's the same thing. 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 3 plus 0 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 0 plus, uh, no, sorry, 2 raised to the power 1. Here is 1. Then 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 0. Solve for each of them. It's the same thing. 
1 and you're still going to get 11 in base 10. Another example quickly. Uh, I'm going to do 524 in base 6. I want to convert it to a number in base 10. Now, we we'll pick the number 524 oh, 524 5, 5, 4 in base 6. Now, we'll write the powers. Start from your right. Start from 0. 1, 2. We continue. I have 5 multiplied by 6 to the power of 2. 2 multiplied by 6 to the power of 1. 4 multiplied by 6 to the power of 0. If you note it very well, you see that every number on this line, on this part, is 6 because I'm multiplying it by the given base. So now, I have 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6 to the power of 2 is 6 times 6 times 36. Again, you will need a very good knowledge of your multiplication table to be able to do things in number basis successfully. So 2, 6 to the power of 1 is 6. 4, 6 to the power of 0 is 1. So 5 multiplied by 36, that's 180. 2 multiplied by 6, 12. 4 multiplied by 1, that's 4. What do I do? I had all of them together. 180 plus 12 plus um, 4, that's going to be 196, which 10. I've said it, you can write it again like this, but I like to write it like this because it's so, uh, it reduces my chances of making mistakes while calculating. Plus 2 multiplied by 6 plus 4 multiplied by 6. It's still going to be the same thing, 180, 12, 4. So I have 196 over So that's it. In my next video, I'll be treating the second method which involves successive uh, multiplication. I hope this video has helped you. Share with your friend, like my Facebook page, and subscribe to my YouTube page for more videos. Thank you.